My name is David Blessman. I'm delighted to have served uh, Blue Mountain Community College as the lean coach. The uh, commitment to continuous improvement at Blue Mountain is clear and present in providing real rewards. Rewards in uh, higher morale amongst the staff, um, moral, uh, rewards in capacity increases by safe time, rewards in better services for students and better value for taxpayers. I think the cohorts one and two, I know cohorts one and two, have learned the language of the lean, are using the language of lean, and from that, sharing it with their uh, co-workers, uh, which I'm confident is gonna benefit all involved. Uh, to see an organization own continuous improvement from their strategic priorities to every level of the organization uh, warrants um, accommodations uh, for um, excellent commitment, uh, dedication, and a demonstration of how we can get better every day. Uh, I want to close by reminding us we shall not let perfect get in the way of better, uh, that we shall improve every day. I gotten myself into and who did this to me? It's painful. <laughs> well, I'm Mike Derrickson. I work up in the bookstore. And I'm Connie Fellows. But Hello, I'm Yadira Gonzalez and I participated in the Lean Cohort Champions number one. I'm Christy Sewell. I'm Annie Livingston. Uh, I'm from cohort one, Barb Beatty. And I'm Nema. I'm from cohort number two, the best cohort. I'm Lori Fialka. Good morning. How are you? Keep going. Well, um, I'm not going to talk more. My conversation is more about the experience of lean. I don't have all the language down, but I do have the experiences. So uh, we started this year um, pretty excited about being here and honored that you guys selected us to be part of the group. Uh, not really understanding why we were there, but all of a sudden the light bulb is on for us, or for me. Um, my biggest aha moment, and I shared it yesterday too, but my biggest aha moment was, especially being part of the stakeholders meetings, was that everybody was included. Everybody's voices were essential, because without them, we were missing important uh, parts of the process and sometimes we're too close to our processes and we don't see how they're affecting students and we're, we don't see how they're affecting the other members of our team. And so those stakeholders meetings were essential. And I've always kind of been a person that, that likes to look for ways to eliminate waste and find better ways to do things. So as I look at my biggest takeaway from the lean process is having a system to look and go, all right, where's some areas that I can improve instead of just let's be better, but how can we be better? I think that's the biggest thing and I think that's the greatest asset to BMCC is to be able to have a system in place to make things more efficient and less wasteful. Uh, my experience with Lean is that um, initially I um, kind of felt the obligation to do it because it was a cabinet request and I'm going to be honest I was a little resistant because I didn't know what it was and after the first meeting I kind of thought what have I gotten myself into and who did this to me? Um, but after going through the process and kind of seeing the value and how it all works, um, the five essing, um, the process, focusing on process and not people, it's been a great experience and I see the value in it now. I can remember back when I was a student here and seeing all the conflicts and all the hassles of going, getting information and then becoming a staff member here, watching the changes and the challenges we've had. And as we've used lean, it's really changed my view of what this college is all about. And I'm pretty proud to be part of it. And I would like to tell you that I thoroughly enjoyed that um, lean experience. Learned to look at my workflows and to make it the most efficient possible. Although some of my financial aid staff has not participated, they have also learned to leave, uh, live like with lean. And that means that we look through that lens at all times. 
Um, I would encourage you to participate. It's a wonderful experience. For me, <laughs> it's um, when you're working on a project and you do involve more people, you understand um, that, yeah, your process, it does involve other people. You have to bring other people in to get perspective. And it's nice to see people coming together to work together on a project. And like Annie said, when you're in a meeting, the stakeholder meeting or whatever, it's, it's a safe place. And you know what's said can be said. There's not going to be grudges held against or hopefully no animosity. Um, and then we leave that room, we're fine. I guess for me, the lean process has um, sort of opened up the communication, the paths of communication for people on campus and because you use a variety of people uh, from different uh, offices and that sort of thing in your uh, meetings. And so they're aware of the process from beginning to end and they're part of the process from beginning to end and they have an opportunity at any time during the process to come down and look at the tracking boards and to look at the, um, the current maps and the, the future maps and just to see how the, the work progresses. And I didn't have much opportunity to ever be a part of any of the groups, but just using it in my own processes in my office and trying to standardize and organize and think of the process and, and where waste is and how we could make things more efficient in the business office. <laughs> Uh, for me, the most important thing uh, that I've learned, the, not really an aha moment, but just going through the process, I've been involved in several of these projects, mm -hmm. um, and sometimes they're painful, and, and usually something happens and, and all of a sudden it's successful, but for me the biggest aha moment is that it always benefits the student. And we say about benefiting students here the most, and, and this is the one process that really benefits the students. Uh, and, and as a result of that, it makes our job easier because we do it in a more efficient manner. How do you think it's changed the life of your students? How's it affected your students? Uh, we have uh, actually uh, changed our, the way we do things and we have more time to spend with students. That definitely makes a huge difference for them. I was a little nervous starting out and kind of going, what? What is this? What am I doing? This is a whole new language and how am I ever going to remember what these things even mean? But as we've worked through it, it started to creep into my vocabulary more and more. So I use it on a daily basis almost. Um, and that moment of it's not about the people, it's about the process and trying to fix the process so we can serve our customers, our students, everybody to the best of our ability. It's, it's not about me and what I think, it's not about what Annie thinks, it's about how as a whole we can make it better. So I've been doing the lean thing for two years now. The first year very active in uh, on a couple of groups, uh, some pretty big charters, and um, the second year not engaged at that level so much and able to kind of sit back and watch how some of these charters and successes have really affected the college. And in addition to that, it's starting to bleed out into the community. Um, I, I've had some conversation uh, with other business partners in the community. Just today, uh, I, with another coworker, she expressed to me how she's used a lean idea in their own private business. And I mean, that just excites me because I think Lean has just got some awesome tools. It's got a mindset that people can use in everything they do, and we need to share it. So I'm excited about the future, about where we can take this. Um, and I guess my aha moments or my energy has been renewed with almost every phase in a way, along the way. So. Eliminate waste and find better ways to do things. Because the benefits that our customer gets. The process, focusing on process and not people. It's walk the walk and we talk the talk. So. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Mike Derrickson. I work at a bookstore. You are? That's weird. I thought. No, I no. <laughs> Good morning. Oh. Sessions go. And take. Wait.
Don't sometimes, cry. Sometimes I get in trouble for the language I use. <laughs> um, Are we filming? Not yet. 